as long as there have been encryption systems employed to keep data secure, there have been attackers working on breaking these codes. Today, new advances in the control of quantum systems are paving the way for a paradigm change in cybersecurity. How can we future-proof current encryption algorithms to prepare for a world with quantum computing power? Join us as we travel to Edinburgh, Scotland to speak with Petros Valdin, Assistant Professor at the University of Edinburgh School of Informatics. When large fault-tolerant quantum computers are constructed, most of currently used crypto systems will break, compromising the security of communications, from simple emails to state secrets. This is a fact that was already known since the early 90s. What's changed is the prospect of constructing such devices. To use quantum theory, quantum phenomena for technology, it requires a higher level of control. In the last five years or so, we live a period that has been termed the second quantum revolution, where exactly this level of control has been achieved. Existing quantum computers has exceeded in size what can be simulated by the most powerful classical supercomputers. Therefore, we enter an era that existing quantum devices can offer real speed up. To break a classical crypto system, one would need about 1000 perfect qubits. Given the interest and investment in the field, it is not unlikely that this will happen in the next decade. If quantum computers are plausible in the not-so-distant future, it stands to reason that hackers will get a hold of them long before they become mainstream. What can we do to address this risk today? The field of quantum cybersecurity deals with all the effects that quantum technologies have on cybersecurity. The research can, broadly speaking, be divided in three categories, depending on whether the honest parties or the adversaries have access to quantum technologies and on the sophistication of the quantum device. The first category is post-quantum security, where honest parties are fully classical and with no new technology they want to ensure that their systems remain secure against adversaries with quantum computers. While quantum computers can provide impressive speed-ups, there are still computing devices with well-defined limitations. Therefore, to construct a system that is secure against quantum computers, one requires to find problems that are hard for quantum computers and base the security on those problems. The second category is we give to the honest party extra possibility of using quantum devices of state-of-the-art technology. One prominent such example is the secret key expansion with perfect security. The third category is in the setting that now we have large quantum computers that can provide computational speed up. What we want to ensure is that we can use this extra computational power coming from these new quantum computers in a way that maintains the security, privacy and reliability of the systems used. Computer systems and complex networks are already part of our everyday life and economy, and their importance is only bound to increase in the future. If we want to ensure reliability, safety, and efficiency in the years to come, we need to invest in research now. The future of communication and computation involves networks that will have both classical and quantum devices of various size and power. This is not something that will happen in the distant future. In order to ensure that this hybrid network remains secure, there is a big body of research that needs to be carried out and we cannot afford to wait till quantum computers are fully developed to do so. Learn more in the review article, Cybersecurity in the Quantum Era, in the April 2019 Communications of the ACM. <laughs>